My name is Tyler. I'm here with Flying J Outfitters. I'm going to talk to you about how to set your bow up for a uh, horse led archery hunt. Okay. Um, some of the concerns that you have are not all quivers are made the same. As you're riding along, you're bumping, right? You have this thing on you. Your arrows can shake loose. And if you've got a broadhead and it comes out and sticks you or sticks the horse, it's going to be a massive problem. The horse is going to spook. It's going to create issues. So when you come in, you either need to have a container. What I did is I have a container where I pulled all my blades off, put it in the container and packed it in a hard case, and then just stuck the uh, non arrow headed arrows in my quiver so if an arrow comes off and falls it's about like a stick um, the other thing there's no really good way to keep your bow in any kind of a hard case and if you do it's too large really to fit in the panniers and it's it's just not super functional so the best way we've found to pack these is with some sort of a sling she's got right there and basically what that does is it goes over the the edge of your cams here on the outside and then you just throw that over your shoulder um, for those of you that don't want to buy a sling like me I took some 550 cord and I made a loop and I tied a loop with a knot that that goes against itself this is just a grapevine knot and then I tied a water knot which is just an overhand knot in some uh, webbing and then you just move the position of this knot to change how much tension you have on the bow so essentially all I did is just run this string inside the cam and then spread it out and put it right over the top like that. Really simple. Just push it down that spot right there, spread it out, bring it over the top. And now when you put this over your head, okay, you can comfortably be on the horse and do your thing, move it around, and deal with your bow. All right, and so the other thing is, is you have a little bit of protection here. So now he can keep this from hitting the saddle or Hold whatever. Hold it up so, riding. And we have found in the past that, I mean, they do make uh, scabbards for these bows. And we have found in the past that they do more damage than good because <clears throat> you don't have any control. They kind of hang <clears throat> down and low on your saddle. You're slapping you while you're riding. They hit the trees and they're you have a little bit more control this way of your bow to for protection. Um, the other thing with the arrows, another option, and if you don't want to take the broadheads off, you can always get an arrow tube, uh, you know, hard case, stick all your arrows in that, and then we can pack it on the pack horse. Um, that's a good option as well. Another so. thing you can do is take the four to six inch PVC pipe put some sort of uh, spongy sponge of some sort I'm trying to think of a better word not sponge but the same material that's on the top right here like that foam yeah foam that's what I look for put some sort of foam in the tip of it put your broadheads down there or I would advise to take the broadheads off put them in there and then just get that get a clean out valve closure on the PVC tube and that tube will hold your arrows without breaking it and there's no way of getting them crushed you can bring extra arrows if you think you're going to sling a bow and, or sling an arrow at a elk and miss. So you have spares. It's a good way to carry that stuff in. Right. Cool. Yep. If you have any questions, shoot her an email, give her a phone call. Thanks for watching. <laughs>